This is what is happening today. They are using the coronavirus, in my opinion. To, it is a trial run. And they're using it with the most populous nation in the world, the Chinese. And they're using it to see how China will respond to control it. And how the World Health Organization in Geneva will respond to control it. And so they are monitoring the coronavirus, ex exquisite monitoring going on at this time. Those who want to rule the world from Jerusalem, that's what they're doing while this corona, of course, they're the ones who planted it in the first place. I have no doubt about that. The Jal uses Gog and Magog to commit facade, spread facade all over the world. And so the coronavirus has to be located in biological warfare in Akhiru Zaman. That is my statement. How do we respond? I don't know how many people will die. That's not important to me. What is important to me is to see how does the Chinese government deal with this problem. We know that our prophet said, Allah's blessings be upon him, 1400 years ago, he said, when a plague takes place, if you are located in that place where the plague is spreading, do not leave. And if you are outside, do not enter. It's called a quarantine. And he said this 1400 years ago, quarantine. And now the world has picked up that same system of quarantine. But they, if you are coming back to Trinidad from China, they will, if they allow you to enter, they'll put you in quarantine and check to see whether or not you have the virus before they allow you to enter into the population. Mm -hmm. And so the, the important thing that they are doing now is monitoring the Chinese government to see how does the Chinese government respond to this epidemic of the coronavirus. And secondly, how does the world respond? What is the World Health Organization in Geneva doing? The president of the World Health Organization used to be a Muslim from Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, Kamaluddin Muhammad used to be president. I was a student in Geneva at that time when he was elected president of the World Health organization, WHO in Geneva. The second thing that is important for us is that to recognize that the Arabs are going to be wiped out by plague. Our Prophet has spoken and I've just given you the hadith from Sahih Bukhari uh, about Mutan, a plague which will kill you the way sheep are killed. This is one of the six that he mentioned, six things, the, sahih, the hadith, which was at the time of the Hazrat Tabuk, Tabuk. So the Arabs are the one who have to be most, most concerned about coronavirus. And that is that they, every Arab government, Algeria, Mauritania, Morocco, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, uh, Iraq, Syria, Jordan, Yemen, the whole of the Arab, Jazeera to the Arab. You should all be sending monitors, people who can go to Beijing, uh, to monitor how the Chinese government is dealing with this problem. How can they contain it? See how the Chinese government is operating and uh, uh, learn from what they are doing, their mistakes, and will they correct things. Mm -hmm. Check to see how the World Health Organization is responding to it. Because tomorrow, after the trial runs over, tomorrow the plague is going to hit the Arab world.